it's Friday. It's around lunchtime, December 1st. I've spent the morning um, cleaning, <laughs> vacuuming, dusting with my mask on. And um, actually I found a couple of hidden spots in my house of random household things like light bulbs, like a lot of light bulbs. Yeah, so anyway, I've been cleaning and purging, doing some more of that. I'm not going to load the car yet today with all the donation stuff because we're setting up the Christmas tree and decorations and stuff tomorrow. My hair is wet again. Um, and I want to purge some of that stuff and get that into the car. I think we're buying a new artificial Christmas tree also. So that means the old one can go to donation. So yeah, I'm going to do all that and then get everything sent off to... Um, donation tomorrow hopefully um, or Sunday before Monday for sure because um, I just want it out of the way and I just did, got done and you probably can't see it because the light is horrible but um, downloading all the video clips for this last week's vlog which I have to edit hopefully sometime today but tomorrow at the latest I also found a few um, royalty free um, holiday um, music clips on YouTube that I downloaded and I'm going to use those um, for the month of December in the vlogs and uh, I think that's it right now I've got to go run a couple errands and to get the mail and then I'm going to have lunch and yeah all that stuff so I'll be back just left the husband to pull out the Christmas tree out of the box and fluff it up I'll let him do that while I go get the mail it's really bright out here <laughs> All right, I'll by the way, it's Saturday, December 2nd, and we are going to be putting up the decorations. Obviously, I already mentioned the tree. And we're going to be doing a purge of old Christmas ornaments and things, too. And then, hopefully at the same time, loading up the back of my car. So, no later than Monday, I can get all this stuff off to donation. So, cross your fingers. I'll be back. Okay, let's go see if they're done sorting the mail. You never know. It's a little early, but they might be done.
this pile here on the floor. It's a massive amount of purging that we've been doing over the last few days. It uh, hasn't been more than a week, but we did a lot. And so it's all got to go to donation. We even have a Christmas tree, the old one, that we're getting rid of. It still works, but it's just really big. So, yep. Anyway, it's all going. It's all out of here. And it all needs to go to a new home. Somebody who's going to appreciate it more than we are. So, woohoo! <laughs> I can't wait to make it all go away. Okay, this last week, especially yesterday, we did a lot of purging, and I don't think I can get anything else in my Subaru. We are headed off to donation. I think my car is full now. All right, we'll be oh back. Oh my gosh, my car is empty, but that took a few minutes to unload. That was full of a lot of stuff. Random things, old storage bins, old toys, old clothes. Just all random stuff, scrapbooking paper, you name it, it was in there. So, husband's getting a receipt for the donation, and then we've got to go to the hardware store. Yep, that's it. By the way, now. it's Sunday, December 3rd. Yep. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, it is Monday, December 4th. And pretty sure it's December 4th, as usual. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm out in the car again. It is actually really late in the day, but I'm not expecting the husband home anytime soon. He's going straight from work to a Masonic meeting. For those that don't know, he's a Freemason. If you don't know what that is, you can Google it. It's a fraternity, Masonic fraternity. No, it's not like in the movies in Hollywood. No, there's no national treasure. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Uh, anyway, um, I am out running a couple of errands I don't want to have to try to do in the morning. I have physical therapy in the morning on my shoulder, this one, and um, I have a couple things I'd like to do but I'm not so sure how I'm gonna feel after physical therapy. I also have to go to the office supply store. I'm out of uh, padded mailers, but that is like two doors down from physical therapy, so I could just walk over there and pick them up before I go home. So I'm out doing the other ones right now. I just went to Michael's and I spent a whole whopping like 34 cents. I know, right? On I needed particular color of embroidery floss I was all out of. I know, shocker. Um, so I've had all that embroidery floss for like a million years. But I was embroidering Christmas stockings and I ran out of red. So, I went and got some more red. Just one. Now I'm going to go to the hardware store. I need a couple things there and then I'm going to go home and heat up some chicken and beans. I think that sounds good to me. All right, I'll be back. Say I spent most of the morning, uh, as you saw, getting on the treadmill, chatting with my friends, the Zoomers, and uh, taking care of some business stuff. The new stamp sets for 2018 are in production at the moment as we speak, and I should have my sample sets by the end of the week and they are up for sale for pre-order uh, for those of you who are so inclined over in the Etsy shop. Uh, the link I will put in the description below. I'll insert some pictures like here of what the different sets look like and uh, then you can take a look and see which ones that you like. We have set number 12 which is sea based or sea life based. Then we have set number 13 which is wildflower inspired. And set number 14, which is um, inspired by some icons that I drew for myself, for my traveler's notebook, for my design team, and a couple of other things. And I really liked the way they came out so much, we made it a stamp set. And then the last one is inspired by some drawings I did in my sketchbook project sketchbook, which is, um, 
part of something at the Brooklyn Art Museum and I will include a link for those of you who don't know what that is in the description you can look it up but anyway I and my sketchbook will be um, available to look at digitally soon as soon as I know what that date is I'll let you all know anyway some of the drawings in that sketchbook inspired the stamp sets this year this next year and um, this last set number 15 is no exception and I really did not plan on doing a number 15 stamp set I was only gonna do to 14 but some of these images of these hands just had to be made in the stamps I just couldn't leave it alone and neither did my, could my um, manufacturer who happens to be rubber moon stamps if you don't know who they are again I'll link them in the description um, they make and produce their own stamps but they also do it for artisans as well myself included and um, yeah so we talked about it and hashed it back and forth and yeah I even drew a couple of new hands for the set so anyway I hope you all like it and that you decide to buy it or one of the others <laughs> and um, if you use them, don't forget to hashtag me uh, in your video description and or title, uh, social media, or wherever that you share it. I hope you do share it. And um, you can always join one of my Facebook groups. All that stuff's in the description below. All right, that's it for right now. I'm going to head into Lowe's and get what I need to get, and then we're going to get home. I'll be back. So that was a bust. Their website said they had eight in stock. They ain't got nine in stock. I'm going to try. There's actually another hardware store right across the street. It's a smaller one. I'm going to try there. I doubt they have them, but it's right across the street. If they don't have it, I'm going to just order it. When it comes in, I'll tell you all what it was that I was looking for. All right, I'll be back. Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday, December 6th. I think yesterday I said it was December 4th, it was December 5th. I'm never right with the date, y'all should know that by now. And I know it makes some of you laugh, Vicky. <laughs> That's okay, I'm alright with that. Um, <laughs> my car will tell me the time, it doesn't tell me the date. And the phone doesn't do either while I'm recording, so anyway. I am, it's early, it's about 7.40 in the morning. And I am headed out to go run a couple of quick errands. I got some Crafters Companion storage binder box things from my friend Vicki Brown. Um, thank you Vicki, I appreciate them. I plan on using them to store my um, some of my dyes in, like my thinlets. I need to get some magnetic pages for them. And Vicki had a great idea, rather than buy them from Crafters Companion, which of course you can do, and I'll try to put links for uh, the items in the description, Amazon links. Um, you can go to the hardware store and get magnetic duct covers, like heater duct covers, and cut those and use those, which is great in theory. And I checked my local Lowe's hardware store yesterday and they said they had a bunch of them in stock and I went over there last night, as you saw if you were watching this. They didn't have any. <laughs> so, anyway, so I'm headed to Home Depot this morning early. They supposedly have a lot more than Lowe's did. We'll see what happens. I also have to go to the grocery store and I'm trying to get this all done early because I have physical therapy on my shoulder later this morning. And I don't know how I'm gonna feel after I have that done. So I would like to get my stuff done now. And we've got some crazy person trying to make a U-turn where they shouldn't be making a U-turn, okay. Uh, so I'm trying to get it all done now um, and then get it home, throw stuff in the fridge, and then go to physical therapy, which thankfully is um, five minutes from my house if I hit all the lights red. So we are out in the early morning air with wet hair. I do have my sweatshirt on and tennis shoes um, because it's 41 degrees outside. And while I'm not freezing enough to put a heavy jacket on, it's a little bit too cold even for me to go out in a tank top. So, anyway, I get to wear sleeves. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, so we're going to go do that this morning and 
I'll be back. Okay, so if you have the um, Crafters Companion binder storage covers thing, boxes things, I don't remember what they're called, <laughs> but if, and you need magnetic, magnetic pages to hold your thinlets, or maybe you're just using a mini, mini binder or something. Suddenly I can't talk, I don't know. Um, anyway, if you go to the hardware store, they have these three pack of magnetic vent covers. They're just a, it's really just three giant sheets of magnet, eight by 15. And if I cut them right, I think I can get six, at least six pages out of this for the binder. The daughter's boyfriend works for Orchard Supply Hardware, which is owned by Lowe's. And neither one of them had them. So we won't tell him I had to go to the orange store because he'll be upset. All right, so I'm gonna go get groceries and then run home, throw everything in the refrigerator, cabinets, whatever, and then go to physical therapy, so. And it's, you know, the sun's rising and yeah, I'm in the right place. The sun is like right there and it, yeah, anyway. So the lighting sucks, sorry. I'll, I'll be okay, so that was sort of anticlimactic because physical therapy was canceled and rescheduled for the 19th of December. My physical therapy person is out sick. I hope she recovers quickly. She's having some medical issues. And uh, I've been rescheduled with uh, one of the other people in the office. Um, they asked me if I wanted to go to another office across town, and I said, uh, no, I'll wait. Number one, it's not hurting me, you know, that badly right now. And I also, this is two blocks from my house. I don't want to drive across to the other side of San Jose to get physical therapy. So anyway, I'll wait. So I'm going to use the opportunity of time blocked off this morning to go run an extra errand and then maybe join my friends on Zoom for a chat. All right, I'll be back. Okay, it's Wednesday, December 6th. I know I said yesterday was December 6th, I think, but it's not, it wasn't, it was the 5th. <laughs> Today really is the 6th, I know, because I'm here in my office and I looked at the calendar. <laughs> anyway, I whittled away the morning um, working on some a page in my journal and doing some more cleaning and purging out of my office supply drawer right there. And I was chatting with friends and getting paperwork done and doing daily writing across the groups and monitoring things, stuff like that, you know, normal stuff, filling an Etsy order and stuff like that. So it is like one, I don't know, 30-ish, somewhere around there. I'm going to go get the mail. I have to mail off said Etsy orders and, um, you know, do laundry, dishes, non-exciting things today. Uh, maybe try to get another journal page in. I do have to film my um, video for giant my giant life for January 2018. I am doing it next year with Anne uh, Williamson and Cindy Utter, so that's fun. And there's somebody else doing it with us. I don't remember who. It might be Leslie McGrath, maybe. And if it is Leslie, I'm sorry. Uh, it's been one of those days. So anyway, I have to do all that. I'm going to try to get it done today, and that's it for the moment, but I'll be back. It's the end of the evening Wednesday, and 
I'll insert some video clips here somewhere. I'm making a pot of tea. I've got the kettle uh, going on the stove and I'm going to sit down with the husband and have some tea and watch some TV. I've started a new purge pile. <laughs> I found some more stuff that needed to go. So yeah, more stuff. I don't think I'm going to wait until my car is like completely full this time. I think I'm going to try to get it to the Goodwill, maybe even tomorrow, and get it gone. <laughs> so anyway, it's uh, the end of the day, the end of the week, and um, it's been a week. I do want to show you one more thing. Are you going to be okay if I walk around here? Try not to get dizzy, okay? We're in my garage, by the way, in case you didn't get the clue. And... Uh, there's the husband's car, yeah. So I wanted to show you one more thing that my dad sent me. Uh, my dad cuts some of my metal pieces for my Etsy shop, and look at what he sent. Do you, can you see how big that arrow is? And he sent me the frame too. So I can't wait to make something with that. Isn't that the coolest thing on the planet? So yeah, very cool. I do have some smaller uh, cut metal things available in the Etsy shop, but yeah, this is pretty cool. So anyway, that's it for the week and that's it for the day and I'm going to go have my cup of tea and I hope you've all had a great one and you have a great evening. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Check out the video description. All the links you need will be down there. If they're not, leave a comment. I'll answer them. I always do. All right, that's it, everybody. I'll talk to you later. Bye.